gorgeous welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new it would mean so much if you guys hit the subscribe button to join my YouTube family because I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday you guys seem to love my story times and I love making them and this one is a crazy one rewind back to five years ago when I dropped a video about the time I got fired I finally had a full-time career I finally bought my first car and my life was going so good I was so happy everything just changed in a heartbeat like I would have never thought this would happen as you guys can tell I was not composed like this I was in a whole different headspace and fast forward five years later I've grown from it and so much in my life has changed this is probably one of the craziest things that ever happened to me and I still don't understand it so I thought I would retell my story about the time that my crazy co-worker got me fired yes you heard that right it's a true story don't forget to follow me on Instagram I would love for you guys to come over on there I know a lot of you guys guys aren't following me so I'd love to talk to you guys and if you guys follow me right now I'm gonna follow you guys back it's just at Nicoletta XOYT just tell me you're coming from that video and I will follow you I did a video around my co-worker from my other job and you guys seem to like that one so I thought I would share with you this one because this one is a hundred times more crazier and just messed up so let's dig into it I'm going to rewind this all the way back and this was actually I would say my first real real job I did work as a gymnastics coach but this was my career we were stepping up I actually was really lucky enough to get this job at the age of 18 turning 19 I was doing my gymnastics coach job and this one at the same time while going to school so it was crazy hectic in my life for a long time I really don't know how I did that I was the youngest person at this job and I worked as a part-timer for a good few years before I was able to become a full-timer so if you guys didn't know I worked at a mental health agency and I worked with clients with dual diagnosis so they had a mental health issue and a mild or moderate intellectual disability I worked with mental health issues all the way from schizophrenia bipolar autism I worked with clients who had depression everything you pretty much can think of and it was such a big part of my life for many years and I actually just recently did a whole video about my experience working into the mental health agency and working in a group home in particular so I will link that above and also down below if you guys are just curious on what I kind of did there once I got the job I worked at a location in Toronto because this mental health agency had many different locations and that is the one that I was pretty much sticking at because it was enough hours for me and I was already so busy with school and with my other job so I wasn't really going around and I was staying at that one location I did that all throughout my university but once I graduated university unfortunately there wasn't many hours at that location clients were moving on from the group home there wasn't many clients left and of course the full-time workers get seniority so that's when I kind of was wondering like what am I gonna do I need like a full-time income one of my co-workers at that job actually told me about another location and this location was so so close to my house so it kind of really enticed me to want to go but then I kind of was hesitant because so many people at my old location has always talked bad about this location they talked bad about situations at that location some of the co-workers it just seemed like it was not a place to go and so many of the co-workers at that old location refused to go to that one but my one co-worker told me it's fine just to try it out and I thought you know why not try it out for myself see how I like it because it is so close to me and they have a ton of hours over there so I ended up going one day and I ended up really really liking it I started to really thrive at that workplace I was getting a ton of hours working between 60 70 hours maybe even 80 hours a week I was taking as many hours as I could because you know I loved working there and I wanted as much as, as experience as I could get fresh out of university as a student and I was really trying to work my butt off to eventually hopefully move up and get a more full-time position and move through the company and just get my experience once I moved there I didn't have a problem with the co-workers I was a lot more closer I'd say with the co-workers at the last location because I was there for probably like four almost four years so I kind of grew up at that location and it always held such sentiment to me but when I moved to the to the other I almost said the location when I moved 
to the other location. I ended up really fitting in and working really well with the clients. A lot of the clients at this location, they had different mental health issues, but there were quite a few that have autism. I was really learning about the world of autism when working there, and I didn't work with that too much at the other location, so I was loving it because I was learning more and more, and everything was going really, really well. Like I said, I was working there for crazy hours. Even though as a part-timer, you could work like full-time hours and more just because there needed to always be 24-hour support and they were constantly looking for people. When I was working there, we have the part-timers, the full-time staff, then we have the coordinator, which is just below the supervisors. So I was right on the bottom of the totem pole. The coordinator ended up going for stress leave. So she was super burnt out and she ended up going off for about a month and a bit, I would say. And my supervisor at this location asked me if I would take her position over for the meantime. I honestly didn't think of the consequences I guess this would have with other coworkers. I didn't think people would take it so bad that they did. I kind of just viewed it as like, sure, I'd love to do that. I thought it was a great opportunity for me that I could add on my resume, give me more experience and different experience. And I would come in every single day, nine to five. It was a Monday to Friday job and you had to work um, like set hours, which was really different for me. And I was responsible for different tasks. And I absolutely loved that job. I was so thankful that my supervisor chose me for this position. Unfortunately, when taking that position, that's when things started to change. That's when I started seeing a select group of coworkers that were female, that were not happy that I was given that opportunity for that month and that they weren't. Mind you, at this time I was about 22 I would say and most of the people at that job were well in their late 30s to 40s and even 50s. I just never thought that what would happen would ever happen to me. I was very naive I guess. So I did that job for about a month and then my coordinator came back from stress leave and of course she's continuing her job and I went back to my part-time hours. I was not getting paid anymore when doing that job. I strictly took it just to get experience even though it required way more responsibility and way more work for the same pay. I went back to part-time and ever since I went back to part-time people still had that attitude towards me of course this is not all my co-workers there were some of the sweetest people at that job that I honestly miss and they were so nice to me and just so welcoming but like I said there was a select group of women that were not having it so I remember one day walking into the office there was this one co-worker which we will call her Leah I actually met Leah when I was 18 at the other location and she was so nice to me for like years until this happened so so it was so strange to me. She was actually the age at the time of my father. I walked into the office and of course I greeted Leah as always and I'm like, hey Leah. All Leah did was looked at me and went, ugh rolled her eyes and turned around to the coordinator. I was so embarrassed. I felt so awkward. She ended up getting talked to by the coordinator telling her that that is wrong. You can't be doing that. It was just so rude. And it was all because I got the position as the coordinator and she wasn't liking that because she was still a part-timer and she's been at that job for a long time. She was taking it out on me. I just didn't think that was right. Ever since then, she really would not talk to me she didn't want to hear from me and it was just so strange because I knew her for so many years and then in May we got an open position for a full-time worker and I was so so excited I really wanted it and I worked there now for about four years I would say so I was really really looking forward to it and the coordinator and supervisor came to me and both told me that I need to apply that was such a good sign so I applied to become a full-timer and I did, I got interviewed and I got hired. I was literally living my dream. I'm out of university. I got my first real job. I'm now a full-timer. I was so happy. I just thought everything was going right in my life. I was doing YouTube on the side for fun and I was just having the best time and was so proud. Once I got full-timer, that's when a bunch more people turned on me and were pissed. A bunch of other people applied to become a full-timer. Some of them didn't even apply, yet they were still mad 
bad. They hired two of us for full timers and I was one of them. And when you become a full timer, you're one that has more responsibility and you're one to delegate the shift. I would now having to tell those coworkers that you have to do this for the shift and that was just what was normal. Those select group of women did not want to listen to what I had to say and they couldn't care less. They would have attitudes, they wouldn't want to talk to me, they wouldn't want to listen to me or be on shift with me. You could just feel the aura in the room. It just completely changed. I felt so awkward. I remember going into work at the end. I started feeling really uncomfortable and out of place. And I really wasn't looking forward to going to work anymore. I was looking forward to seeing my clients over seeing my coworkers. I just felt like it was such a toxic environment. And I absolutely hated it when certain people were on shift. Whenever there were those people weren't on shift, I was so happy and felt like, free and felt like I could be myself but when those people were on shift I just felt so uncomfortable and I couldn't wait till it was done. This is when things took for a turn. So I work there as a full-timer now and unfortunately the supervisor that I liked he was leaving to another position in the company so we were gonna get a new supervisor. Our new supervisor was this woman and she worked at another location and I heard stuff about her through the grapevine that she had had a lot of issues there and a lot of people did not like the supervisor. So I was really nervous when I heard about that. To be honest, I was not looking forward to it, but I was keeping an open mind because maybe she'll be fine. So she walks into the work for the first day and all of us are there. Mind you, we have one client at this location at the time and he had autism. He would get really fixated sometimes on female staff. I worked really well with him and loved working with him, but all he would talk about was he would constantly bring up my name. It was nothing bad or anything. He would just always bring me up and a lot of people would get annoyed because he was quite a chatterbox but that was just him if you work there for long enough you would know that's him and you can't change him he's always been like that and right when my new supervisor walked in and he was talking about me and said oh this is um, Nicoletta then she was like, no, 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 this needs to change. This cannot happen. He cannot talk like that. This is not gonna happen. No, 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 we need to get rid of that. My coworkers were like, well, good luck. You're not going to, that's him. Like, this is how he is. When she said that, it kind of stuck. And I tried to be really cordial, really nice with her. I never did anything inappropriate at work. I always tried to be extremely nice and pleasant. I continued to work as a full-time staff. One day, one of the full-time workers went on vacation for a week and her name, we will call her Paula, and I absolutely love Paula. She was one of the OG workers that worked there since pretty much the beginning of the agency, and she was actually working as the full-time staff for the client that had autism that constantly talked about me. She was such a good worker. I really looked up to her because she really knew what she was doing, and she also was just, she was just a really nice person. When she went on vacation, I walked into the office one day and it was a group of those coworkers talking to each other and I remember opening the office door and they kind of looked at me and they all stopped talking. You know when you catch someone that's probably was talking about you and then they act like awkward and they like try and pretend they're doing something else but you caught them in the act? That's pretty much what happened and that was at the beginning of the week. I was really thinking that was so strange. They kind of like all froze when I came in and they felt really awkward when I was there and I remember I went to go get my water bottle and it was just the weirdest thing and I got a really bad feeling. The next day to when that happened, I went on shift and it was an evening shift and it was me, another coworker girl who is the main person that really started this and we're gonna call her Nina. Nina and I always were good with each other. She was a part-timer and I always had no problem with her at all. Honestly thought we were friendly with each other. She was on shift with me and with two other males. So it was two women and two males and we were doing the evening shift which is from three to 11 at my work. The day before actually this whole went down, Nina got into an explosive fight with one of the other coworkers and it was a whole big, big situation. She did it in front of my clients and it was really unprofessional and really bad. They were calling on each other during the shift on supervisors. They were screaming and it was really inappropriate and nothing really came from that. She didn't get any consequences, which is really weird from when you hear what happens to me. So Nina is on shift and we are doing our normal shift. We're working in a group home and we're working with our clients and everything is smooth sailing. It's a good shift. My clients head up to bed 
and go to sleep and it's the last kind of like hour or so before we're waiting for the night shift people to come so we can switch off. I'm just kind of there and I end up picking something up in the office and you know those times where you pick something and you, by accident you pick it weird and your nail gets caught and my nail pretty much completely came off and it hurt so much. I was in so much pain and I remember wanting to scream, but I was like, I cannot scream. My clients are gonna wake up. I cannot make this into a situation. I remember just running downstairs where there's like a little bathroom to run my finger underneath the bathroom. It's kind of like the staff bathroom. And I take like a towel and I'm holding on it. And I ran downstairs because I was bleeding so much on my finger. And one of my male coworkers followed me, came down and was figuring out what the heck happened, asked me like, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm fine. I hurt my finger and he ends up going back upstairs and then goes and sits down somewhere Once I'm done getting my finger under control because it was bleeding profusely I come back upstairs and I go into the office and when I'm in the office I just get this weird vibe with Nina and randomly the phone rings and my supervisor calls and mind you It's almost 11 p.m. At this time and I'm wondering why the heck is my supervisor calling so late at night that never would happen and she wanted to talk to me and I pick up the phone. She basically asked me what's going on with this male coworker and I, what was I doing that she heard something go on between us. And I told her, uh, no, I ripped my finger and I went downstairs. She made it seem like, oh, well, I got a call that he assaulted you. I was so confused and did not understand what was going on and I said, no, what? I just didn't know what was going on. And then the night shift staff comes on. I stay back a little bit and the night shift staff ends up telling me that Nina called the supervisor and made a story about me and the male coworker and said that there was something going on between us. He assaulted me or I was uh, dating him or something. I have no idea to this day. I was so shocked and this night shift staff was so nice to me and was like, Nina is crazy. She's just trying to start something. She doesn't like that you've been working more and that you got the full-time hours and that she's still a part-timer. And he was like going on telling me what she's been saying about me behind my back constantly. And she was starting to work at our location more hours. So I really think that her main goal was that she wanted a full-time position and she didn't have it. And that's what I heard from other coworkers that told me. I end up leaving the shift and I'm like, this is so weird. I have no idea what that was. Like what's wrong with this person? I never thought I had an issue with me. Then I get a phone call from my supervisor and she basically tells me that I cannot come to work tomorrow and that there's an investigation because there's an allegation made against me. My heart dropped. I was so confused and I was so sad and I just remember being like, but why can't I come into work? Like I want to work. And she just kept saying that, no, there's an allegation against you. We have to investigate it. They had to investigate me. Apparently they asked a bunch of coworkers questions about me and those coworkers actually called me on my cell phone and told me, and they said that there was nothing. They were trying to insinuate that something happened between me and this male coworker and that we were also seeing each other. I have no idea to this day makes sense. Other guy that was on shift that night said nothing happened that night, it was all good. Then I get a call from my supervisor again telling me that I have to go to the main office to talk. They asked me a bunch of questions and she was actually extremely rude to me, my supervisor, and pretty much insinuating that I was having a relationship with this male coast staff. And mind you, this guy was probably 15 to 20 years older than me. I was only 22 and he was going towards 40. He already had children and it was just a mess and it made no sense to me and I was just so distraught. After they asked me questions, I obviously denied it and asked them questions like what is going on and they really weren't answering it. They weren't really telling me the full truth. And then I got another phone call from my supervisor to come back to the main office another day and they proceeded to go in and tell me that I was fired. Then the human resources lady pushed my package to me and pretty much said, peace out, thanks for working with us for five years, but bye bye I remember being so upset but I did not want to cry 
because I did not want to give it to her because she had this smirk on her face and she was just so mean and just so heartless. And I just remember picking up my package and walking out there and then your girl cried like a baby, but I did not cry when I was in front of her because I did not want to give her that. It took me a good year to really come to terms and accept it. When I was going through that situation, I was so blindsided by Nina. I was blindsided by my supervisor. I was blindsided by everyone. They do that a lot. You're kind of seen as replaceable in that company. They don't care how much you've done, what you do, what you bring. They really don't treat staff that amazing. And I, I there's a lot of not great things happening in that company to be honest. It was just hard for me because I couldn't even say my goodbyes. I couldn't say my goodbyes to my clients and I talked to a few co-workers after this went down and I actually met up with one of the co-workers. We went to Starbucks and she just talked to me and that was the co-worker that went on vacation. So she wasn't even there because she even said to me that they definitely did it when she was not there because she would have not let that happen. And she would have actually been on shift instead of Nina. I remember my co-worker telling me that I was just doing too much. I was working too much, too many hours and I kind of became a threat to these women. Guess I was just doing too much. I don't know, but that was the time that my coworkers made a plan to get me fired and they succeeded. I really wanted to share this story because I know that so many people go through this and I know the feeling. I remember when I was let go, there was nothing I could do. I wanted to go to court and fight it because I was so upset and I did not understand how companies could just do that. And near this time is the time I was ghosted by my boyfriend, which I did a whole video on so many years later too, which I will link it down below. And my whole life just seemed like it was upside down. I got um, a health scare I remember that year and it was just a really really difficult time for me that I will never forget but I'm thankful I went through because it definitely made me into the person I am today it made me a lot stronger and I really do believe that everything is meant to happen for a reason and even if you can't see it in the moment because you're so upset and you're so hurt you will see it down the line of why your life is supposed to be the way it is and I do believe that we're always given things that we are able to handle even if we don't feel like we can handle it it will make you stronger in the long run it's crazy how much my life has changed and how happy I am now and how I remember during that time I had no idea what I was gonna do with my life I was so confused and being someone who plans their life out it was really hard for me I had no idea what I was even getting fired for and still really don't but you know I'm better without them I don't need them although I do miss my clients I'm doing me now don't forget to click the subscribe button I would love for you guys to join we are getting so so close to 1 million. Thank you guys for all the support you have given me over those five years, whether you joined years ago or you joined today. I don't thank you guys enough and I love you guys and look forward to all your comments all the time. You guys are so sweet. Catch you guys in my next video. Bye!